What's up, my folks? Hope y'all are doing good, and I'm gonna drop them out. Man, Tinker's really losing weight. Her collars are even getting loose now. This bitch is on it. She's. I can't wait to get the weight off of her. Um. All right, let's get back to reality. We got to talk about serious shit, okay? I had a um a question about what do you do when you 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 get one on that side, okay? And that's gonna happen. You're not always gonna come out looking good i mean it's hot right now and um you know it's rough on the dogs so i had a question about do they get go through the bushes and bright man they get brush feet cut up fucked up terrible okay terrible i mean hell they can get cut by shit you didn't even know was in the woods bullet cut damn near cut his leg off um but uh so you got one that's beat up real bad say there's different levels of that shit too some of that stuff just superficial it's more of a time thing on it um if they're overheated that, that's when you really need to worry about it um oh his ass is stick uh bitch plays like hell on she? but uh like if it's just the dog stuck his head down in a hole and it comes out and it looks like his eyes are swollen shut and He's breathing good. Not, he didn't overheat, and he's just got a lot of superficial shit. Things like Remedil, stuff like that works real good uh, if you got that on hand. I mean, Remedil's hard to get. I ain't been able to get none lately. But uh, it's, it, but you got to have a good understanding vet that knows you're hunting with these animals, and um, you know, then then you have a better chance of getting getting things you know prescribed for you. Um, Dexamethasone's a real must, uh, and a lot of people don't really understand the, how to use it. All right, that shit will fuck your dog up if you don't. I don't use no kind of that shit heavy. Don't use it heavy before any hunt, okay? If you're worried about them, if you're worried about them running that long, it's the key that you need to condition them to be able to handle that that length of time, not run not run chemicals, because that's gonna fuck your dogs up, okay? But I, like, say you got one that you run out. We we've had it happen, you know. It just they just run themselves damn near to death. There, I had a buddy just about three or four months ago uh lose a patterdale she dug for two hours and i ain't shitting died in his front seat he couldn't uh he couldn't save her and I, he didn't have no decks with him um it, the, you gotta understand the dosage most of your decks comes in two or four milli, milligram per milliliter okay uh two is what most of it is what i like to do is uh one milligram per four pounds of body weight that's 2.25 okay per pound 0.25 per pound milligram so if you got two milligrams in in each milliliter that'll do eight pounds of dog so you're 40 say a 40 pound dog say you run him hot and he's on the side he's going in shock he's fucking you want to get that dex in him as soon as possible if you can't if you don't have a, a way to put it in the drip which if you know all that and they're doing all that you're you're set you know um but usually you know just on the tailgate you want to give them at least five cc's all right for two milliliter for a 40 pound dog and you can even give them more but don't not much more like i think that max dosage they recommend um is like uh shit uh i think it's 0.3 if i remember correctly you can probably look all this stuff up you done playing with your rope go get your drink i wonder how long she does every time i come out here she's fucking with it see how she'll dance with it and twirl with it <laughs> loves that shit but um you know 0.25 per pound has always done me pretty good now what i like if you that's five cc's you don't want to load all five cc's in a shot and give it you want to do it intramuscular i you know do about two and a half per hand you know for back leg you know just like you're giving a muscular shot in the back leg at the angle um get that in them like lickety split right when you can get back to your medical box from the woods um have it have it in the truck now when y'all go to places don't just rely on it to be able to make the trip home especially if you're going far um even not even far take your shit with you because i mean a bad hit's a bad hit i mean <laughs> it is what it is it'll kill your ass in 10 minutes if you if, especially if they start going in shock now dex takes a little while from i've i've watched dogs with it you know especially like rusty he don't he does he does fucked up on dex man you you give Rusty Dex, he's on his side laying there looking space cadetted as shit. But I mean, it it helps. It keeps them from going in the shock. 
you know, um, some dogs can handle it. Don't bother them. Depends how bad and shock they're gone too. Cause I mean, it's going to make them dehydrated. So you're going to have to give them some kind of, if you can't run a catheter or an IV, you can still bag them. You know, I was telling them, we were talking about that the other day, a couple friends of mine. You can always still bag them. So, you know, put that shit under the skin and, and start pumping it to them. You know, you can, if you don't have a, uh, you know, a catheter to get in a needle in the vein. I mean, but if you, that shit, you can still use it in the bag for them. And it'll, it'll hydrate them enough, man. You'll save them. I'm telling you. Clean them out. And I'll tell you another thing. For all the, the superficial cuts and shit like that, you cannot beat, you cannot fucking beat it. Vetricin. Vetricin will heal that sucker, man. It works wonders. So use that stuff, guys. I mean, I use it for pad tough, too, when their feet get hurt. And, you know, you got to give them a couple of days off. We'll, I spray them feet with Vetricin. Um, their ears, spray it down in their ears, everything, man. Keep Make sure their ears are good, too. That's another thing. This time of year, I've seen a lot of dogs catching ear problems. You know, I had some comments about the the little yard we did today. The that was my partner, man. That's me amigo, man. I got uh, that's just one side of one yard. We I got two more amigos. I got three amigos. I got a team. I got a team kick ass, man. Not kick ass kennels. I know there's you know, somebody's gonna come here and say that. Now nah, that's what I call them. That's my nickname for them. Team kick ass. That's our crew. Got all kinds of shit. Y'all don't know. That's what I'm saying. You don't fucking know. <laughs> But uh, anyway, guys, save them. It's easy. It, you got to get on it, though, right then. I mean, right when you can. I mean, if they, you know, the longer you to wait, the, the, your chances of them coming back are slimming it up. You know what I'm saying? I, that dex takes away anywhere from, I've seen it probably about 20 minutes. It seems like it really starts taking hold on them, and you can start to notice it. But, um, you know, and if they're swelling real bad, she's eating grapes that are falling off the thing. But, uh. That's probably not good. I didn't even think about that fucking grapevine up there. See? Learn something new every day. I'm gonna poison my dog with fucking wild grapes right here on camera. Uh but any uh anyway, um, you know, do what you can. I mean and, and have that shit on hand. Get with your vet, explain, you know, you're hog hunting, you're going your dogs are diving down in coyote dens, pulling fucking coyotes out of the holes and shit like that. You know, you need things, you know, a half dozen Remedil on hand and a bottle of Dex and the right needles and a, a, a ring or bag and just a hookup, man, you could you can do a lot of business with that, okay, if you just take your time and do it. And a bottle of Vetricin and some damn super glue and a needle and thread, you, you can buy all that now. You can buy the, the staple guns, you can buy all the thread, the needles, all that shit that's pre-coming packaged. I got some of that shit. It's just a pain in the ass, man. If you can get it to come back together and vetris in it. I mean, a lot of times, you know, little shit like on the sides and stuff, staple up, but like in hard bones, like if they get cut along, across the bottom of the legs and shit like that, you know, it's hard to stitch them right there and keep them, you know, vetris in the hell out of it. You'll be surprised what it'll do for you. But I can, I'm telling you right now, his, his old legs, when he gets done growing, He's probably going to have them all cut up running through these fucking woods around here. There's trash everywhere in these woods. And every hogs around here has done being caught by dogs so much. They fight like a damn dog. But anyway, folks, y'all take care and y'all keep on bulldogging. <laughs>